This family of drums is not unlike military type European drums and those instruments used to accompany European folk dances. And our first example is Brookings. That is Brookings from Kensington in Portland and was recorded in 1976. The song that they're singing is distant marching around the throne because no bad behavior ever goes on in a Brookings party. Our second example of the rattler being used is Gary, recorded in 1978 in Hanover. <laughs> I think the creativity of our people was demonstrated there as the wind instrument you are hearing is an empty soft drink bottle and are blowing across the open end. Uh, our final example of the rattler in use is very unusual. It comes from St. Elizabeth and it's fife and drum being played for a maypole dance. song consists of bass, funde, and repeater. The repeater or peter, the lead drum of the burro set, may have a wooden body or a discarded oil or paint can may be substituted. This hand-played instrument is open-ended with one goat skin head affixed by a metal rim and fittings or a skin-covered rim laced across the body to a tension ring at the other end. It is accompanied by the funde of similar construction and also hand-played. Completing the group is the bass, a slight variation on the bass drum mentioned before. The head protrudes at least two or three centimeters above the rim, and it also is played with a padded, wrapped stick, or a stick capped with a sponge rubber ball. of you not familiar with Buru, it's a masquerade form found in Clarendon and also in Old Harbor Bay. And until fairly recently, just northeast of Spring Village. The Buru set predates the better known Peter and Funde of Rastafarian music. The family came to be adopted, adapted, enlarged, elongated, and modified into the battery of drums that accompanies article and churchical performances, bingis and ground nations. This is a little bit of the mystic revelation of Rastafari.
the western part of the island in Hanover, one finds the Etu Ensemble, a group of particular interest to percussionists because of the timbre of the instruments and the distinctive playing methods employed. In this group, which is of Yoruba ancestry, the instruments, language, and many of the cultural practices are similar to the related Nago people of Abeokuta near Waterworks in Westmoreland. We'll hear some Nago. <laughs> Nago and Etu traditions employ the kerosene tin, a container in which cooking oil was sold and which was thereafter used for the purchase of kerosene oil. As cooking oil is now packaged in plastic containers, new instruments have to be made by tinsmiths, as the sound required is that which is produced by thin tin sheets with their multiple vibrations as the sound bounces internally from side to side of this six-sided vessel. This is a secondary achaka, the lead instrument being the ire, closely resembling the rattler, but with a more elongated body. A double-headed instrument, it is held between the knees, only one head being played at a time. The style of playing uses the palm, fingers, and thumb as a separate unit. Employing the thumb in this way is curious and is not found in any other percussion ensemble. descendant of the car drum of the Congo region is a tambo drum, which is found in other areas of the Caribbean, namely the Virgin Islands and Guadeloupe, accompanying the Bambula dance, and was also found in Louisiana up to the late 19th century. The drum, which has given its name to a formerly socio-religious dance celebrating the transition of death, now a simply social dance for couples in ring formation. is hollowed from a log and the head is affixed to the body by means of hooked pegs. Slits in the skin are stretched and secured by the hooks, the pegs also serving as tuners when hammered into the holes in the body of the drum. The player in this Congo-derived form straddles the drum and plays with the hands, dampening the sound and changing the pitch by applying the heel firmly to the skin. Sheshe, the other forms being the Mabumba and the Saleon. The Sheshe is not so well known, so I thought I would include it here. The plain cast is a lead instrument of the Kumina set. Cylindrical and open ended, it is made from a hollowed log, as is the tambo drum. The head fixed to a rim is held in place by an outer rim of whisk, which is wired and nailed. The male instrument, the bandu, also called the banjo, constructed in the same way, is straddled as well and played with both hands and feet. And this example is from Tredegar Park in St. Catherine and was recorded in 1977. 